unnecessary problems with my laptop happening, it was the best. Hmm. Never played Need for Speed to Run. I never played that game because well I don't have a lot of uh, Need for Speed games which is practically why I couldn't uh, afford any more of those games. Same thing for this one. I never owned buy that game either because it was practically way ahead of my time and I only started to like the Need for Speed franchise when I uh, played Underground What. The original Need for, Speed, Need for Speed Underground and Need for Speed Underground 2. So, that's how I, I uh, got involved with it. Same for this one, I never played. I never played this game in my entire life. Not even this one. Or even this one. Not even this. Not even this. Well, this game, practically the best. The reason why that game is the best is because, well, it was the only Need for Speed game that happened to be on a mobile de device that was actually working, and I'm to, I have him. I have happened to uh, play Need for Speed No Limits, and for the last five years now, I've been going through a tough time finishing the chapters, and I am also hoping to start uh, a new a new a new f a new uh, chapter when I uh, have a new credit card I can practically pay the in-game stuff finally and this game over with once and for all for more uh, content which should be coming soon I hope I don't know when that I might return to play Need for Speed No Limits which I have videos of it before but when I'm financially stable to use my credit card I'll let you guys know when I am able to make more Need for Speed than Limits content again. In the meantime though, this game is 100% the best choice.
to play because it's practically the only game that works. Truth be told, I haven't played this yet. This new game that just came out this year, prior to that, Eva Speed 8, it's practically the best game of all time already. It's almost just like Need for Speed Pro Street and Need for Speed Underground all in one. Along with, uh, Need for Speed Rivals or Hot Pursuit. I'm definitely about to get that game soon if I can. I'm not really sure of the time frame. Of the future. Speaking of which, I have never played Hot Pursuit at all. The reason for that is, well, as I said before, I haven't had a lot of Need for Speed games during my time, so I couldn't actually buy the new games because I was focusing on at least two of the games that I could be finishing first. But I just couldn't do that. So that's why I never brought any of other Need for Speed game, just like Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. But, on YouTube, I can always watch it. I, I can always watch any Need for, Speed, Need for Speed content that I can find. And, if I enjoy watching them, maybe I'll play with it one day. If, uh, they're up to the standards of the, uh, new consoles today. Need for Speed Payback is practically a poor choice. And I am played it, but many other people have. And uh, it got me thinking, now that we're past 2017 and into, and we're past, and, and, we, and, we're, and we are way past 2019 now, kind of makes me wonder that I practically wouldn't buy Need for Speed Payback anyways because there were some controversial topics about it and uh, you know I just couldn't stop the people who who were overly complaining about the game so, and for them to do that, it made me lose my, uh, what's that word called, uh, oh, it was... It made me lose my...
Let's say choices. How about that? And maybe lose my choices. Now, about Need for Speed Nitro. That is a Wii game, and I don't have Wii. I never played that game because it's Wii, and I don't have a Wii. I'm a PS2 guy, so I couldn't be able to do that. Okay, same thing for this game. Shift un Shift 2 Unleash. It's a PS3 game, don't have a PS3, never played it. Need for Speed V Rally. Nah, never played it. Never played it. Speed no most wanted. Never played it either. I also tried to play the app version. It just didn't work apparently. When I tried to download that game on an Android device, it never really worked at all. And I was kind of bummed about that. I was. Now, Need for Speed High Stakes. I never played that game. Because, well, if you can probably tell what year that game came out, yeah, that was ahead of my time, and I could not, uh, Afford video games during that time, apparently. So it just couldn't work. Need to be underground rivals. And that sounded like a good game, but I never played it. If I known that there was another Need for Speed Underground game, I would buy that game and play with it. But I just never knew. And plus, I think that was the last Need for Speed Underground game that was, uh... presented over time. I do wish e EA games would make more Need for Speed Underground chapters. Fans would have loved it even more. I never played this game, but I watched some YouTube videos about it. Need for Speed, the 2015 version. Because... The game was practically celebrating its, uh, 20th anniversary, and to celebrate that, I was watching the Need for Speed 2015 videos on YouTube during that time, and, you know, and that game was fun to to watch other people play, except the uh, the other part where uh, they had problems with it. So, yeah, I wasn't having it. I don't know if I'll play the Need for Speed 2015 game though. That's something nice stuff to think about in the future.
Need for Speed Nitro. Uh, yeah. Need for Speed Nitro X. I, re I never played that game in my life. And if I did, I probably wouldn't know where to find it. So, there's that. Most wanted, never played it, either. But I've seen YouTube videos about it. Carbon. The original Carbon. I never played it. Me, Neva Speed 2 Hot Pursuit. The Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 game. Uh, never played it. Again, it was ahead of my time. So, really wouldn't be possible for me to play a video game in that era. Need for Speed Shift. Never played that game. I never played that game before. But I think I heard uh, I uh looked up looked up about this game once. And as for These two down here. Not even sure why Mario City Online is a part of uh, the Need for Speed Games franchise. But, uh, yeah. And I'm not even sure why this is part of the Need for Speed franchise franchise because it's it's bizarre and I'm not even sure if that's if that game here is an EA game isn't owned EA games version of the Need for Speed franchise and more city online not even sure that's an owned Need for Speed an owned Electronic Arts Games franchise but yeah that will do it from here you guys Yeah, that'll do it from here. If you guys want more If you guys want more uh tier lists, please be sure to put them in the comments down below or I'll just upload them anyway because I don't have many viewers and I'm not gonna expect anyone to not comment anyway so I'll just keep up uploading for, for for the uh, short period of time and uh, yeah until next time here, thank you guys for watching, and yeah, have a good time.